Hey, what's going on guys? In this video tutorial, we are going to be starting off with form validations in JavaScript. So this is not going to be a single video. We'll be looking at form validations in further couple of videos also. So we'll break this into different parts. So this is just sort of like an introductory video. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking input in a username and password text box. So that's what I've already created. You can pause the video and quickly type this out. It's, it's very basic. I just have added a form tag. I'll talk about it in a minute. But the idea here is to take username and password and if you enter any blank values and if you click on submit, it should show us a pop up message saying that you cannot enter blank values. And what we're going to do is when we enter some values and click on submit, we will load a new page. Okay. So in the coding, you can see I have created a message.html also. So this is that file. So you can quickly go ahead and create that also. So if you see, this is just a basic HTML document with one single H1 tag wherein you are saying welcome, which means that if you are having a successful login, we get this message.html, we load this and we get a welcome message. So that's the idea over here, but this time we're going to be using a form tag. So what is this form tag in HTML? So whenever you want to submit some data to a server or to some other page for processing, you use the form tag. Okay. So this code will look exactly the same, even if I just remove these form attributes, but then the button won't work. Okay. So you can see if I click on this, nothing is happening over here. Let me just undo this thing. And now if I just click on this, you can see that the page is refreshing, right? It's very fast. I don't think you can see it on video, but if you see, if you just observe over here, if I click on this, the page is refreshing. So this is because now we have a form tag. And if you don't have a form tag, if you click on the submit, it won't refresh. Another reason why it is refreshing or it is getting submitted is because this button is a type of submit. Okay. So this is not a regular button. If I say button and now if I try to click on it, it will not get submitted. You can see the web page is not refreshing, but if I change this to submit and now if I click on this, you can see that the web page is refreshing. So this is the speciality of using a form tag. Whenever you want to submit some user specific data, to a web page or to some other page or to some other server, you use the form attribute. And this is more relevant and useful when you have a backend scripting language like PHP or ASP, wherein you take the data from the form and you post it onto another page or another code residing in the backend, wherein the processing is done. But right now, since you do not have a server side scripting, we are just going to be handling everything in JavaScript on the client side. So let's see how to go about this. Now, I hope you have already typed in all the code. It's just two input types. We've given ID of you name, which is having a placeholder of username and the input type is text. Similarly, we have another input type, which is a password type. So anything you type over here is going to be in dots because it is a type of password. And here we have given ID of pass because we are going to be accessing these two input types in the JavaScript using the get element by ID method, right? And lastly, we have the submit button with the type of submit, because as I mentioned, when you give the type submit only then the form will be submitted. Okay, so let's first access these two input types in the JavaScript, like what we've been doing so far using the get element by ID method. Now, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function. I'm going to name it validate. Inside the function, I am going to say, I'm going to create a variable username and I'm going to say document dot get element by ID and inside the ID, I'm going to pass the U name. So this username is an object referencing this input HTML tag. Similarly, I'm going to create this for password also. I'm just going to change this to password and I'm going to pass the ID of pass over here. So now what we want to do is we want to check whether these values, that is the value inside these text boxes are left blank or not, right? So we have to use simple if else control statements. I'm going to see if username, that is this variable, which is holding reference to this input text box. I'm going to say dot value because that's the value inside the text box. That's the property which references the value inside the text box. And I'm going to say if username dot value equal equal to double quotes and inside I'm going to do nothing because I'm going to leave it blank. So we want to check if username dot value is equal equal to blank or so this is a conditional operator because we want to check for two conditions, right? You cannot have blank username. You cannot have blank password. So either of the two, if left blank, we should show an error message. So that's why I or in between and not a an and I hope you're getting this. Then I'm going to say password dot value equal equal to again blank. If either of the two are blank, we want an alert and I'm going to say no blank allowed. 
no blank values allowed okay and i'm going to say else do nothing okay so else we are not interested in anything because we then want to redirect this to the next page and we still have to do some little bit of more coding and it's still not done we have just defined this function we have still not called it so where exactly to call this function so what i can do is i can call this function on the button click right so i can say on click and i can say validate right so if i click on this right now you can see no blank values allowed but this is not something that we want what we want is when you click on this button we want a new page to be loaded if values are entered so if i enter something i will not get that alert message but you can see if i click on it we are still on this same page we are not being redirected to message.html so that functionality has to be added in the form attributes okay so here we have an attribute named action and inside this we have to redirect or you have to give the name of the page where we want to transfer the control and that is going to be message.html right so the action attribute of the form tag defines what action you want to perform when the form is submitted okay so the action is that we have to go to message.html so this is something related to html i hope you have a little bit of idea about this now let's check if it's working right now i'm keeping it blank and i'm going to click on it so we got the message no blank values allowed but when i click okay i'm being redirected to that message.html so this is something that we don't want right if we are getting a no blank value allowed message we don't want it to be redirected still so still our functionality is not complete so what exactly is happening over here is this function validate that we are calling is on this button click but this is not the place to actually call it so where exactly to call validate method so again we have on submit event of the form tag so this is where we actually have to call the validate method and not on the button click in this case because when the form is being submitted only then you want to validate it right not on the button click so okay we've called the validate function on on submit event of the form tag let's see again if this is working i'm going to leave the text boxes blank and i'm going to say submit okay so on submit event is called and our function also is working fine because we are getting no blank values but if i click on okay i'm still being redirected to the message.html which means something still is missing so the last piece that is missing is the return type of the method so let me just first type it out and then you'll understand so if any of the text box is being kept blank which means that the if condition is going to be executed right so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to say return false okay and if both of them have some text in it the else part is going to be executed so here i'm going to say return true okay so i'm doing this for a purpose i'll explain to you in a minute now inside the form on submit event what i'm going to say is i'm just going to type return and hit space okay so what i exactly did over here is i'm saying that this method validate is going to return some value and if it returns a false value this on submit will not be activated or this on submit will be disabled which means that this event will not be called which ultimately means that the form will not be submitted and you will be on the same page and if you get a true value which means that this event should be executed then the form will be submitted and then you will be progressed to the message.html so that's why i am returning false over here and returning true over here so where your condition is satisfied you can return true where your condition is not satisfied that is the validation is not happening there you can return false so if this is not making sense let's see how this works in the output right now we have blank fields right let's try to click on submit there you go no blank values and let's see what happens when i hit on okay so there you go you can see we did not get redirected to message.html now let's enter something in the username and let's keep password blank so still the if condition will be executed right because one out of the two conditions is true which means that the password is still blank right so the or works in such manner that if any of the condition so these are two conditions over here and if any of the condition is true the if blocks is going to be executed so let's try to submit this and again you get no blank values allowed and you're still on the same page which means that we are returning false and this on submit event is not happening that's why you're on the same page now let's try to enter some password and let's see if this works there you go you can see we went in the else block and the true value was returned that is true boolean value is returned over here and that's why this on submit event was called and the form was submitted and the action according to the form is message.html right so that's why it got redirected on message.html and on the message.html we are just showing our message of welcome so this is just a template page that we just want to show 
for testing purpose and basically we've achieved our goal over here so the basic type of validation is done but now you must be wondering okay what if i just hit spaces over here and hit spaces over here and try to submit so it is still working right so a quick short fix to that is by using the method named trim okay so just add trim method and what this method does is if you enter any spaces it will remove those spaces and make it blank again see if i'm giving spaces over here and if i try to submit it again you're getting no blank values allowed so that's a quick fix to this okay so this was the very first video of form validations and a very basic one wherein we were just taking input from two input text boxes and we were just checking for blank values now there is one more easier way to do this in html itself i did not specify it in the first because i just wanted to go the javascript way first now in html5 we have some functionalities like required so this attribute added to the input tag will make it compulsory for you to enter some value over here okay so let me just first comment this entire javascript function out and i'm just gonna erase this on submit event also so what i did is i just added required and required it's an attribute of this input type and now if i try to submit it you can see we are getting please fill out this field so this is an inbuilt feature of html5 wherein you are getting inbuilt validations right you're saying that please fill out these fields so these are very basic ones if i hit spaces and if i click on submit it it will still work which means that it is not as advanced as the javascript code that we wrote but for a basic level of validations this will still work so in javascript we can have custom validations we have regular expressions and we can have a lot of flexibility in the validations kind of scenarios that's why we mostly use javascript for validations on the client side okay so that's it for this video guys i'm going to wrap it up over here in further videos we'll see a little bit of variations of validations we'll try to go ahead with regular expressions also as we move ahead so yeah that's it for this video guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up do share it with your friends let me know in the comments how this video was and see you guys in the next video peace